Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dufree, and today I'll be showing you what to do when the ball you are trying to hit is blocked by another ball. So let's say the setup is like this. We got the eight ball, we're playing nine ball. We are trying to hit and make the one. This will all be about making the ball, not just hitting it. Although we're really trying to hit it, if we don't hit it, it's a foul. Uh, but uh, we're just focused on making the ball in this video. So, first shot, we have a setup that looks like this. And there's three things that I'm going to talk about in this video. We're talking about kicking, mass A, and jump. Uh, so, we're going to kind of like level out which one will we choose. Uh, this first one, if we grab our jump cue, we can see that we're going to have to lean out a lot and we'll fall over. I just fell over trying to reach that. Uh, but we cannot, we cannot reach this like it's too far. It's too far to jump. Uh, the cue ball is too far away from a like stable position that we can stand. Mass A, uh, if we mass A this way, it's extremely unlikely to make the ball since the ball is so far away from the pocket. And again, look how awkward the stance is. We're going to have to do something like that and that's just real real difficult so what we're going to do is we're going to kick at this long ball uh, and some may ask well what rail do you kick off guys because you could kick off this rail but you see the chances of making that ball are very unlikely I mean it's possible but it's very unlikely that you're going to make that ball but kicking off of this rail it's pretty much a guaranteed hit and a fairly easy make. Uh, we're going to talk about the two finger rule. So we're going to take two fingers, place our index finger where we want our cue ball to contact, extend our thumb to the rail, take this little line, move it backwards just like that, and this is now our aiming point. So we need to hit right here in order to make this one ball. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this shot from a couple different angles, uh, and here it is. So now this next shot, we are going to be talking about mass A. So let's take out the eight and the one again, just like that. Now this shot right here, the one is close to the corner, real close to the corner. And the cue ball and the eight ball are close to the rail. We cannot kick going this long way. That just leaves us a kick going this way, which again is makeable we can make that kick uh, but I feel in my case I've done mass A for so long and I've done it so much that I feel the mass A for me uh, is just more of a comfortable shot in this situation especially if my cue ball is a little bit to the right of the eight ball I'm not completely behind the eight ball if I'm completely behind the eight ball or if I'm right here it's a totally different story but if we have a little distance and our cue ball is a little more to the right uh, then I feel comfortable with the shot. So with a shot like this, at uh, this distance, we only need to elevate just a bit, just about that much, uh, in order to make this one ball. We just want to clip it on its side, not scratch. Uh, so we are just going to elevate just a bit, aim a little to the right of the one ball, use some bottom left English. Use bottom in whatever direction you want the cue ball to curve. So bottom left, since we are curving to the left, don't hit it too hard, because then it won't curve in time, and we'll make the eight ball on the corner. But also, do not hit too soft, because it will curve too soon, and hit the eight ball like that. So we got to hit it at a good medium pace in order to make the one ball. With that bottom left spin, I'm going to show you exactly where I'm hitting on the IQ training ball. Bottom left spin is around this diagonal line right here. We're shooting around these diagonal lines. So if we're on the other side of the table, uh, it'd be bottom right along this diagonal line, but it's on this side, so bottom left, since we are curving to the left. Just elevate just a bit. If you elevate too much, it'll curve too soon. If you don't elevate enough, it won't curve enough. Uh, so here's the shot. So now we are going to be talking about the jump shot. 
Now this is a situation where we would want to pull out the jump cue. And that's because kicking this ball is very difficult to make it. If we kick, our best chance is in that corner. You see we could completely miss it and even if we hit it, we are probably not going to make it in the corner. We're probably just going to hit a bunch of things and we don't really know where anything's going. We don't want to mass A because again the ball is real far away from the pocket and it's hard to judge that and it's, you got to elevate a ton and hit real hard uh, and get a ton of curve on it from this angle uh, and that is just really hard to do. So we are going to pull out the jump cue. Now this is a Mez Air Drive jump cue. I'll put a link to it down uh, below. I'll also put a link to a few jump cues on Amazon down below. But this cue is just shorter and lighter and just makes jumping easy. Uh, any jump cue is good. Uh, jump cues from any brand, they all play about the same. Except for a Q-Tech Bullet, I hate that one. Uh, but so this shot right here is just a straight end shot. It's a straight shot, which is another reason why we're pulling out the jump cue. It's nothing crazy. Uh, so all you gotta do is just act like you're shooting it regularly. Act like the one ball is not there. Then elevate up. Use a little bit below center. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to strike it at about a medium hard pace. Uh, just make sure you stay on the same line do not move any of your lower half of your body as you're jacking up your cue. That way your cue stays on the same line. So we're hitting just a little below center on the cue ball. Uh, should not be too hard to make this. Uh, it's a really easy jump shot actually. Uh, and here it is. So this will be the last situation that I talk about and this is a mass A kick. So this is when we cannot see enough of the one ball. This is like the same shot that I just showed you the plane mass A on, but on the other side of the table. And the reason why we would shoot this a different way is if the one and the eight were further out this direction. Uh, we do not want to, we don't really want to straight mass A this because if we hit full on this one ball, our cue ball is going to just follow it right to the pocket. Uh, it'll look something like that. It'll just follow it right to the pocket and that'll be a scratch. And if you're playing a good player, a scratch is pretty much end of rack. And if it's winter break, uh, you don't know how many racks that guy could run. So we're curving around the eight ball. We're gonna try to hit off of this rail and pocket the one. That way, Our cue ball comes nowhere near scratching in any pocket. They so kept going and just go there and then there and then there and that short rail. Uh, so even if you hit it real, real hard, you'll you won't come close to a pocket. Uh, it's it's pretty easy not to scratch on this shot. So all we're gonna do is just elevate just a bit, and we are just curving to hit around this point. So we're gonna aim for this half diamond mine, uh, but since uh, we're using that bottom left is going to curve and a lot of people ask me how do you know where to aim on mass A shots and I kind of just say it's it takes experience with mass A to know where to aim while using mass A. Uh, there's no real direct system I mean there is one but it's the, probably the most complicated thing I've ever seen in my life uh, but it, it takes a good feel for mass A to know where to aim so just keep practicing with it uh, and then you will roughly figure it out. I'm just going to say uh, there's a lot of variables to it. So I'm aiming at this half diamond line in order to hit right here with a slightly elevated cue and some bottom left English. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button, then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. If you don't mind, please check out my sponsor links in the description. I have the link to the IQ Training Ball, a very good tool to help improve your game. I also have a link to BrutalUSA.com and that is my apparel sponsor. They make 
real great uh, playing clothes and they are blowing up guys uh, so it's definitely something you want to get on right now uh, so you can check out their links down in the description below I also have a few Amazon links to a few uh, billiards products that you can got that you guys can check out uh, so go down there and check out um, this video's Amazon links uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video